County Judge David Hudson has been managing Sebastian County for the past 24 years. He's not seeking re-election, but three others are hoping to replace him. And since they're all running as Republicans, the race will be decided in the May primaries. Denny Altas, Steve Holtz, and Jeff Turner are all running for Sebastian County Judge. They answered questions from the League of River Valley Voters. Altas is a businessman, former Justice of the Peace, and former state legislator. We've got a, like a $50 million budget. 500 employees. I've worked hard over the past 40 years building businesses. I think that I have the, the executive experience to run the county. Holtz was also in business and was the HR director for the county for eight years. He was appointed in 2019 to fill the remaining term of the treasurer. He cannot run for that position. So I'm ready to hit the ground running. I know the job. I know the people. I know the quorum court. And so I'm ready to roll. Jeff Turner has been the county administrator for 14 years under the current Sebastian County judge. County government is, is a strange animal and uh, just take somebody who knows what's going on in county government. Alta says if elected, he'll focus on county roads and the county EMS service. I used to own and operate the Crawford County EMS system. Lately, there has been some uh, uh, overload, you know, where there have been too many cases where the city of Fort Smith or, or the Fort Smith EMS has had to back up the Crawford, I mean the, the Sebastian County EMS. Turner says he'd work to get raises for county law enforcement deputies and first responders. And I think we're going to have to do something long term to keep those folks. Uh, during, the, during the COVID event, uh, EMS workers have been in short supply just like nurses and doctors. And so we've got to keep, uh, keep those folks as well. Turner says a big project will be consolidating all county and Fort Smith City dispatch services together under one roof. That's now state law. And Hotz agrees. There's a lot of things behind the scenes that have to take place for that to happen. Such as? Uh, we've got to pick a location. We've got to find a director. Uh, we've got to find a, a, an organizational group to make that happen. All three candidates say one of the biggest challenges facing the county judge will be jail overcrowding at the Sebastian County Detention Center. But right now, Holtz and Altas do not support adding more jail space. We may have to uh, go that direction, but I'd like to look for alternative options first. Get those people into something besides the jail. Give them help, and that will reduce the number of head, the head count in the jail. We've always had overcrowding. You can't build enough jails. Folks that uh, we don't want out are going to have to be out, or we're going to have to add on to the jail, build a new jail. Tonight at 6, hear more from the candidates on jail overcrowding and their solutions to fix it. In Fort Smith, Brett Raines, 4029 News.